Alright, hey guys, what's going on? Pete here, and I'm bringing you yet another video of the GTI. This video is going to focus on OBD11, and I'm going to kind of show you how uh, I use it and what I kind of use uh, in the application itself. So, um, as you guys can see, I have a little dongle in, and uh, I'm connected to my Amazon Fire, or I guess Kindle Fire, but I don't think they call it a Kindle anymore. Um, using it f with the Fire, I guess you could say, um, it's a pain in the neck. It really is. Uh, you have to go. I think APK is the website I went on and I downloaded it, and it's like super in like not secure. But I don't really care because I only I bought this tablet it's fifty dollars, and I only use this tablet for um, for connecting uh, to my car. So I'm gonna run a scan on my car, and we'll see what kind of problems I have. This is super super handy um, because whatever problems I get uh, that are like significant that I go, you know, I ask some of my buddies and. Um, I always go to my dealership and ask them what's up with the vehicle and they kind of do a diagnostic. Of course, when I do that though, they tell me the car is fine. <laughs> That's kind of how dealerships go. But um, I have not done a scan in about since August because that's the last time I updated this. Um, this software um, requires a lot of updates. Uh, OBD11 requires a lot of updates. So it's kind of a pain in the neck when you have something that doesn't truly run this. Even though it does, you have to just kind of download it through a different source. And it's a pain in the neck to update. So um, I will say for any of you, I think Samsung owners or Android uh, you know, users, you guys have it easy. <laughs> you really do. Um, but um, ooh, we have a little bit of a little bit of a problem. Hey, I don't like that. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, it just runs a scan through the car. Uh, I'm probably gonna be seeing the same issues as always, uh, and they're not really. They're kind of just passive. It's really nothing tremendous. <clears throat> but uh, this is definitely something you want to do with your vehicle a good amount of times. But yeah, no, it kind of tells you everything that's that's wrong with the vehicle and uh, and kind of see if what you can do to fix it. But we have eight problems. I don't think I oh, nine problems. <laughs> um, hopefully these are passive problems, and if they're not, hopefully they have nothing to do with the APR intake and boiler exhaust I have. But I had my music chime in. No, thank you. No. Ooh, I don't think that's gonna turn off. <laughs> But, uh, almost done with the scan. We have 11 problems. 13. Now, what I don't want to do is I don't want to clear them, because I want to see what's kind of wrong with the car. So, oh, this is 20%. I don't care. Air conditioning. Um, I don't think that's tremendous. We'll kind of go through the car and sort of see what kind of issues I have. So, I have to remember how to do this. Um, problems. Do I click this? Uh... <laughs> This is a, a terrible video. <laughs> um, so we have start system. Um, you know what? I'll take it. Just kind of electronics. That's not bad. So remote. Oh. Passenger side. I believe I've always had problems. As you guys can see, if it'll focus. Uh, focus, 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 focus. There we go. Heated seat passenger side. That's kind of always been an issue for this car. Um. That'll be something I will bring to the dealership and kind of mention them, or mention to them. Uh, um, door control module, <laughs> all good stuff, right? Uh, activation, um, that's not bad, I think that's passive. Steering column locking, faults. So what I think what happened was I actually had a couple faults in this car before. Um, I'm not seeing them pop up, so when I brought it to the dealership, um, door warning light. I think I already knew that because what happens here is I open the door uh, and no, I don't get that LED strip that I have over here, which you have on both sides. So I know that's not working. And I, you know what? The annoying thing is the first thing I did to get like, aside from getting the AC fixed last November, my second warranty, uh, the t second time I went to a dealership for a warranty thing, they, they didn't actually fix it, which unfortunately that was the case. So let's just go in and bam. Not even focused. All right. <laughs> so it doesn't look like anything's terrible. Let's do faults in the engine. No faults with the engine. That's always good. Um, so I'm going to do now is I'm going to, once again, focus it. Bam. All right. So I'm going to go into here, car, apps, and I'll show you guys kind of the cool stuff that we can do. Now, um, I'll, I'll walk you through all the stuff that I've done with my vehicle. I've done Windows function. Um, 
from remote, that's 10 credits. That's a really, really nice thing for the summertime. Uh, and even winter time, even though you really don't use your windows. I use my windows because I like the sound of the exhaust. <laughs> I might be, might, I might, you know, there's probably other people like me, but... Uh, so sound actor, uh, I tweaked with this. I have to toy with it again. I think um, I'm gonna probably bump it down to maybe 30% because I think it's at 100% right now when I put in sport mode. Um, and that's just, if you guys are unfamiliar with this, it's the fake sound that kind of gets pumped out of the speakers. Or maybe not even the speakers, but I know it comes from the center here. Because uh, sometimes in the winter time when it's cold, I get a nice vibrate and I love that because that's not annoying. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, you get to do all this cool stuff. Oh, garage door opening. Fantastic. But yeah, no, these are all the cool stuff you can do. Cool things. Uh, Seatbelt warning. I kind of, I still have that on. There's some, a lot of stuff that I have on. Some of these things aren't even compatible with my vehicle, though. Uh, that's just given that I don't have the, the equipment for it, like, say, the, the radar. Um, but yeah. Oh, we got people coming in. So these are all the things that you can do with OBD11. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this short video. It was just a scan and uh, kind of showing you the apps. Maybe I'll show you guys all the functions in each and every individual one uh, later on. But hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. And uh, stay tuned for more.